Hello everyone, this is Sendust7 at XDA Developers. You may have seen my forum threads on dual booting the Motorola Atrix 4G smartphone. Well today, I will give you a step-by-step -step demonstration on how to partition your external SD card so you can host a second ROM on your Atrix without touching your existing ROM. You simply need a micro SD card adapter, a computer with an SD card slot or USB card adapter, a partition editor to modify or create partitions on your SD card, and some basic knowledge of making a boot CD from an ISO file and booting from it. For this demo, I chose the GNOME Partition Editor, or simply Gparted. To use Gparted, simply download the ISO file from SourceForge.net, burn it to CD, and boot your computer with it. Here I'm showing the Gparted boot screen, waiting for the automatic boot to Gparted Live. Booting now. Just accept all the defaults by hitting Enter, and the Gparted Live user interface will eventually appear. I'm just going to let the camera roll. And there we are. Now the first thing Gparted will do is scan for devices. And here it is showing the partition map of my computer's hard drive since my SD card isn't connected yet. But I will do that now. Okay, here's a picture of my new 16 gigabyte class 6 micro SD card with adapter. If you look on the far side, note that the slider switch is in the forward position for read-write. I will now connect the SD card to my computer. With my SD card connected, I go to the Gparted menu, select Refresh Devices, and wait for Gparted to recognize my SD card. There it is, a single FAT32 partition of about 15 gigabytes. Unfortunately, I don't get the advertised 16 gigabyte capacity. That is because computers interpret 1 gigabyte as 1024 megabytes and so on, whereas vendors use the decimal system. Okay, now I want to make room for three new EXT4 partitions that will contain my second ROM. With FAT32 highlighted, I click the Resize Move button and shrink the FAT32 partition down to 10 gigabytes. This is a little overkill, but I want to make sure the new partitions fit. When I click on Resize, Gparted shows a 10 gigabyte partition and the enlarged, unallocated space to the right. Now I'm ready to define three new EXT4 partitions using unallocated space. I begin by allocating 330 megabytes for the system partition. By the way, it's really easy to forget to choose the file system type. No worries, Gparted has not actually performed any operations yet. Now I click on the Add button, and there it is. Next, I define the cache and data partitions using the exact same method I used for the system partition, except here I will allocate 660 megabytes for cache and 2 gigabytes for data. All allocations and file system types are consistent with the file system on my primary ROM. Done. So far, I have defined a downsized FAT32 partition and three new EXT4 partitions. However, none of these operations have actually been performed. 
I will launch them now by selecting Edit, Apply All Operations. Once Gparted is finished, it will automatically update the partition map. Done. And now for final review. Note the very small amount of used space in the new partitions. Note also that the partitions are indexed as block 0. Android will interpret these as block 1 since block 0 corresponds to internal memory. Okay, now that my SD card is partitioned to host an Android ROM file system, I will exit the Gparted Live interface and shut down. Once my computer is powered off, I will transfer my SD card back to my phone, boot to recovery, and flash one of my custom dual boot ROM zip files. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed this demo on how to make room for a second ROM on your SD card. I look forward to hearing your own story of how you successfully dual booted your Motorola Atrix 4G. Goodbye!